Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes a customer's check may be returned for non-sufficient funds. If this happens, you will want to record the transaction into QuickBooks Online Plus. You have three options when entering a bounce check into QuickBooks Online Plus. You can use an invoice, create a check, or create a journal entry. If you choose to use the check method, note that the check will have to come from a customer that was invoiced using the accounts receivable account. For example, you can use the check method if the original check was applied to an invoice within the Receive Payments page. To enter a bounced check using a new invoice, you will need to create a product or service item that uses the bank account the original check was deposited into. Additionally, you can create a second product or service item to serve as the bank fee you were charged on the bounced check. Note that this second item, if you choose to create it, needs to reference an expense account or a specific contra income account. For example, you could use a bank service charge expense account if desired. To create your new product or service item, click the gear icon and select products and services from the lists heading to open the products and services list page. Click the new button at the top of the page to open the products or services information page. Here you will enter the name for your new product or service item, for example, Bounced Check. In the Income Account drop-down list, select the account the check was returned on, for example, your checking account or whichever account you use to make your deposits from sales. Also, make sure that the Is Taxable checkbox is unchecked. When you're finished, you can click the Save and New choice from the button in the lower right corner to save your work and open a new page. Now you will create a product or service item for your bank charges associated with a bounced check. This will allow you to recoup the fees that you have paid to the bank. If you do not know the rules for your location, check with your accountant to ensure that you can collect bounced check fees. In the Name field of the Products or Services Information page, enter the name for the item. For example, bounced check fee. In the Income Account drop-down list, select a Contra Income Account or Expense Account from the list. You can select the Bank Charges account, or you can use the Add New option to create a new account if desired. Make sure that the Is Taxable checkbox is unchecked, and click Save and Close to save your work and close the page. Now you want to create an invoice. Click the Create icon, and select Invoice from the Customer's heading. Select the customer that bounced the check from the Choose a Customer drop-down list. In the Invoice Date field, enter the date that the check bounced. On the first line of the split line list, enter the bounced check item, or whatever you named the item created, and enter the amount of the bounced check into the amount column. On the next line of the list, select the bounced check fee item you created from the drop-down list. In the amount column on this line, enter the amount of the charge from your bank or the maximum amount you are allowed to charge if applicable. Click Save and Close to save the invoice and close the page. You now need to enter the bank service charge as an expense into QuickBooks Online Plus. Click the Create icon and then choose Expense under the Vendors heading. This will open the Expense page. In the Choose a Payee field, enter your bank's name. Next, enter the date that the check bounced into the Payment Date field. In the Reference Number field, enter NSF fee or similar to reference the type of expense. Select your Bank Charges account from the Account column in the Account Details split line list. In the Amount column, enter the amount you were charged from the bank for the bounced check. Click Save or Save and Close to save your entries and close the page. To collect payment on the new invoice, follow the normal Receive Payment steps in the Receive Payment window to accept payment on the bounced check and any bank charges. When your customer pays the invoice containing the charges from your bank, you will simply receive payment on the invoice and a new deposit amount will be created. Using this option to link your bounced check product or service item to the bank account you make deposits into will reverse the check in your bank register. This will save you the extra step of creating a debit to offset the original credit in your income account. Apart from the previous method that has been outlined, you can also enter a bounced check into QuickBooks Online Plus by using the Write Checks window. If using this method, the first step will be to create a new check. Click the Create icon and select the Check link underneath the Vendors heading. 
This will open the Write Checks window. In the Choose a Payee field, select the name of the customer that bounced the check. In the Payment Date field, enter the date the original check bounced. Uncheck the Print Later check box, and then enter NSF or something similar into the Check Number field. In the Accounts Details split line list, choose Accounts Receivable or the specific Accounts Receivable account you used from the drop-down list. In the Amount column, enter the amount of the bounced check. This will complete your entries for the check. Click one of the Save options at the bottom of the screen to save your entries and close the page. You will now need to change the existing payment entry that you made to apply the new bounced check entry that you just created. Select the Customer's link in the navigation bar to open the Customer's page. Click the name of the customer that bounced the check to be taken to the Transactions list for that customer. Locate the payment associated with the original bounced check and click the line to open the payment. Uncheck the invoice with which the payment was originally associated, find the NSF check entry and check it to balance the original payment with the NSF entry. When you are finished, choose a save option to save the entry and close the page. The original invoice is now marked unpaid and the payments will cancel each other out. However, you will still need to create an invoice for the bank service charges. To create an invoice, you must have a product or service item for the fees you want to charge. Follow the steps shown in the first method of collecting a bounced check by invoicing within this lesson to create a bounced check fee product or service item. Then create the invoice as you normally would. If you need to create an item to collect the bounced check fee, you will need to create an expense to enter the bank service charges for the bounced check. Follow the same steps shown in the first method of collecting a bounced check by invoicing within this lesson to create the expense for the bank service fees. You can now send a statement to your customer to collect the open invoices on their account. To create a statement, click the Customer's link within the navigation bar. On the Customer's page, check the customer that you want to create a statement for from the Customer list. In the Action column, select the Create Statement command. This will open a menu where you can select the type of statement to create. Depending on your preference, you will want to choose either the Balance Forward or Open Item options. Select the date you want your statement to reflect and then click the Preview and Send button. This will open the Send Statement window. This window will display the email address associated with the customer account if applicable. There will be a subject and body fields that will be pre-populated with a default message. You can leave the default message or you can enter new information into either of these fields. The statement will be displayed in the preview window to the right. You can select the print icon from the top of the preview window to print a copy of the statement. If you communicate via email with this customer, you can simply click the Send button to send an electronic copy to your customer immediately. After the customer remits payment on this statement, follow the normal procedure to accept payment on the invoices you have created by using the Receive Payments page. The final option to handle bounce checks is to create a journal entry. Click the Create icon and then select the Journal Entry link under the other heading. This will open the Journal Entry page. In the Journal Date field, enter the date that the check bounced. In the Account column, select Accounts Receivable or the account you use for your accounts receivable. In the Debit column, enter the amount of the bounced check. In the Description field, enter the reason for the journal entry, for example, Customer Bounced Check. In the Name column, select the customer that bounced the check. On the second line, select the bank account affected within the account column. Ensure that the amount shown in the credit column matches the amount from the first line to ensure double entry. Then click one of the Save options to save the journal entry and close the page. Now you need to change the first payment to apply it to the newly created journal entry. Click the Customer's link in the navigation bar to be taken to the Customer's page. Find the customer in the list and click the line of the customer to open the customer's transaction page. Locate the original payment associated with the bounced check and click the line to open the payment page. Uncheck the invoice associated with the original payment and check the journal entry that you just created. 
This will balance the original payment with the newly created journal entry. Then click one of the Save options to save your work and close the page. You will now create an expense for the bank service charge, create an invoice for those bank service charges to the customer, and then print a statement to send to this customer. These steps are the same as were just shown for the check option for handling a bounced check. When the customer remits payment for the invoices listed in the statement, you will follow the same steps as receiving any other type of payment. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free